I was listening to a Buddhist address on the far banks of the Ganges River. I began to make, almost by accident, some drawings in the sand. There was a certain kind of rhythm to it that reminded me of some of the architecture that I'd been seeing in India. When I got back to the UK, I wanted to maintain that kind of intimacy. I reached for various different pigments on the shelf, one of which was a pot of graphite, and I tried to just play with the graphite as if it were sand. Still life always had seemed perhaps a little too still for me and a little too um, smug, really. The display of wealth that the Dutch genre represents, it was the height of uh, the Dutch colonial era, so many of the objects that appear in the still lives were extracted from various cultures, the East Indies and so on, and brought back to Holland. I think implicit in the, in the golden age uh, still lives is the idea of colonialism. The graphite mixture is essentially graphite powder dissolved into some damar resin. And then I'm adding to that stand oil and mineral spirits. I'm making effectively a graphite-based oil paint paste. I work generally from dark to light and then begin often to wipe away. And this allows for quite a large degree of trial and error and of a particular error. And those mistakes then feed back into the developing sequence. As I worked with the tradition, um, the feeling grew uh, in me that this type of beauty, uh, which involves a show of possessions and the show of wealth, will always be accompanied by the need to defend it. The viewer would be reminded of their mortality. Often there would be a skull uh, within the uh, still life. There would be insects that would be devouring the fruit. Uh, the fruit might be rotting. The flowers might be beginning to wilt. We might see a petal drop to the floor. All of these suggestions, just not to take wealth too seriously, were implicit in the tradition. So my re-evaluation of it is not a critique of the tradition. It's just to bring those elements out and perhaps make them more overt and update them so that, for example, instead of the Grim Reaper being represented by a skull, the Grim Reaper is represented by Reaper surveillance drone. The Sunny Art Prize exhibition itself is a very strong one. It, it absolutely answered that uh, desire to have artists who are engaging with a range of contemporary issues and coming at it, those contemporary issues from very different perspectives and the ambition within the work is very strong.